Good morning, lady. I'm new here in this neighborhood. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. My name is Anna. I want to welcome you on behalf of all of us. My pleasure, Anna. My name is Kenny. I see you're not wearing your mask. Oh, we don't use a mask here anymore, since the town is very safety. When did you arrive? Oh, I see. I've just arrived some hours ago. Well, I wear this mask every day. You don't have to wear that anymore. We have a very safety environment here, in this town. Thank you, but I prefer to keep it, if this doesn't bother you, of course. Is that okay? Oh, that's okay, Kenny. So, what do you do for a living? Are you a doctor? Or a nurse? Oh, you mean because of my suit? No, I'm not a doctor. I'm an oculist. Oh, an eye doctor. That's very interesting. We don't have an eye doctor in this town. Well, I have my office near here. You can come someday and I can check your eyes. That sounds good, since I was having some problems with my eyes recently. By the way, what do you do for a living? May I ask you more personal questions? Of course, we are neighbors now, so I think we have to know each other more. That's correct. We never know who our neighbor can be, so it is good to know each other. Well, I am a manager in High Restaurant. It is near the bank. Do you know that? Yeah, I've seen the bank and also that restaurant when I was coming with the taxi. Yeah, it is a good restaurant. You can come and eat something sometime in the future. Absolutely, I will go. What time do you usually go to work? Do you go by bus? Oh, we don't have buses here, Kenny. We drive our own car and we call a taxi when we need to. I see. I don't have a car for the moment. A mechanic is repairing my car now. Well, I often leave my home to work at 8 in the morning. I can take you to your office. Oh, that will be amazing. You are so kind. I'm so lucky to have you as my neighbor. Oh, I don't say that. You make me blush, Kenny. You look like a good person. Well, you have to find out if it's true or not. But if you need anything, I'm here to help you. It's very kind of you. By the way, I know it can be a little inappropriate, but are you married? Actually, I am married, but I don't live with my wife. She's usually in other country. Men always say that. I mean, I'm sorry. It was so inappropriate of me. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I forgot to mention that we don't live together because we are separated. Oh, you mean you are going to get divorced in the future? I'm sorry, Ken, for asking that. That's okay. And yeah. We're getting divorced now, in fact. And you, are you married? No, I'm not married. I was dating somebody, but things don't go well sometimes, you see? I totally understand. 
You don't have to tell me everything about your life if you don't want. No, no, that's okay. Remember, we have to know our neighbors very well. Yeah, well, I think you're right. And what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like to go to the movies, watch series on TV, or go camping with my friends. Seriously, I love going camping too, but I don't usually go, although I love to. Why is that? Maybe you don't have much time to go because of your work. No, it's just that I'm new here and I don't know any good place to go camping, you see. Oh, you're right. Well, you can come camping with us. We usually go on Sundays. Really? Awesome. I don't work on Sundays, so we can go there. Can I take my child with me? I didn't know you had a child. I love children. How old is he? What's his name? Yeah, he's in my home now. His name is Brian, and he's 10 years old. He's a good boy. Brian, that's a nice name. And where does Brian study? I mean, what school is he going? Well, I don't know. Remember, I've just arrived. Do you know a good school over here? Obviously, I know a good one. All the children from this town go there. Oh, great. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you. Do you have any children? I do. I have one daughter. Her name is Mary. And she's 12 years old. Mary, that's a beautiful name. Maybe the kids can play together sometime. Can they? That's a good idea. And we can go camping together sometime. We will have fun. I'm sure we will. And what does Mary like doing in her free time? Does she like camping? Are you kidding? She loves camping. But also she loves to ride her bike every day. Brian also loves riding his bike. He rides it every afternoon after going to school. Well, the old one. Another thing they can do together, huh? By the way, what do you like eating? Eating? Well, there are a lot of things I like to eat. Many things. Yeah, but you must have at least one favorite dish. I mean, we everybody do have. Well, if I had to choose, I would say it would be Japanese food. That's delicious. Japanese food. I have never tried that. I love Chinese food and also Thai food. I eat Japanese food almost every day since I am from Japan. Well, I was born there. Oh, I suppose so, but I didn't dare to ask. You really look like an Asian person. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was born in Japan, but I moved to England, and now I am here. Is it true that Japanese guys are very intelligent? It is just that I have never met one in my life. I think that is a myth. We're all intelligent. There are smart people all over the world. You're right. People invent many things that one can end believing in that. I suppose so. Anna, 
Would you like to go to eat Japanese food with me sometime? Of course, I love to. But first, you have to try my Chinese food. Oh, do you cook? I would be pleased to try the food you prepare. Seriously. Sure, I can cook very well. Remember, I am a restaurant manager. I can cook well. I see. Why don't we go to the movies first? I am free this afternoon. Alright, there is a good movie I want to watch. Let's take our children too. Of course, I will tell Brian and you tell Mary to go to the movies today. I like the idea. Since you don't have a car, I wait for you at my door house, okay? Alright, I'm going home now. I have to get ready for our date. Uh, I mean... <laughs> don't worry. I like you, in fact. You look like a good person to meet. Oh, yeah, you too. Thank you for being so kind with your new neighbor. Don't even mention it, Kenny. We are here to help each other. That's what I think. I hope you really liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more with this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next video. Oh. If you have any idea for a next video, just write it in the comments. Take care. Good morning, neighbor. How are you? It is a nice day today, isn't it? Good morning, Patrick. In fact, it really is. Sunday and fresh. Amazing. Yeah, certainly. I see you're ready to go to work, or you don't work today. Oh sure, I have to work every day. Today I have to arrive earlier than usual. Oh, why is that? Is there any special reason, or you just want to be more punctual? No, no. What happens is that today I start my new work schedule. Oh, good for you. I'm asking you because I always see you leaving at 8 in the morning. Yeah, I used to work from 8 to 5 p.m., but not anymore. It has changed now. I always thought your life was interesting. Can I know more about your daily routine? Of course, it is not as interesting as you think, but I do a lot of things during the day. I know, I always see you doing different things. What time do you usually wake up? Well, I wake up at about 5 in the morning, and then I meditate for one hour. You know what? I never try to meditate. It sounds like a little difficult for me. Difficult? I don't think so. I think you should try. It can help you relax. I'll think about it. How many hours do you meditate or how's this thing? Actually, it is just some minutes every day morning. It helps me focus on my things. I see. I usually wake up at 6 in the morning and think about all I have to do that day. We can say that is a type of meditation. There is not only a single way to do it. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. And what do you do after you meditate? Right after that, I take a shower. It is usually a cold shower to wake me up and get ready. Cold shower. Oh my god. Happily, it's not very cold these days. <laughs> Although it sounds painful, it isn't. You just need to get used to it. Yeah, well, I don't usually take a shower in the morning. I normally do it at night. Oh, that's good too. I've tried that a couple of times, but never worked for me. As you said before, you just need to get used to it. At the beginning, it is very difficult. Yeah, I see. Well, after taking a shower, I get dressed and cook my breakfast. I didn't know you cook. Doesn't your wife make your breakfast in the morning? No, because she leaves home earlier than me. So she doesn't have much time. Oh, that's why I never see her leaving your home in the mornings. I get it now. Yeah, she works from Monday to Sunday, from 5 to 6 in the afternoon. Wow, she must arrive very tired after a long day at work, I suppose, right? Just like that. She works harder than me. She's a really strong woman. Well, so you prepare your own breakfast then? What do you usually eat for breakfast? Since I don't have much time for that, I often fry some eggs and eat them with bread. Well, eggs are healthy, so I think that's okay. And what do you drink with your fried eggs? Orange juice or pineapple juice? It depends on what I want to drink that day. You must know everything about healthy food, since you are a famous nutritionist. I don't know everything, but yeah, I can tell I can't decide what to eat and drink to be healthy. I don't usually eat eggs, you know? They are not on my list, since I am allergic to them. Oh, I didn't know that. If you want me to give you a special diet, you should come home. Thank you, doctor. I will take that into consideration. So, then you leave. No, after having breakfast, I need to water my plants. I have a lot of them. Yeah, I saw your garden. It is really big and with a lot of different plants. Nice garden you have. Thank you. It is not easy to take care of it. I have to water them every day. I suppose so. I don't have a garden at home, but I have some plants in my yard. They are nice too. Well, after that, I leave home to work at about 7 in the morning. Do you always drive your car? Or you take the bus or maybe a taxi sometimes? I usually drive my car, but when it doesn't work, I have to take the bus or a taxi. Well, you know I drive a taxi. So if you need a ride any time, you just need to call me. That's great! Do you work as a taxi driver every day? 
or it is just for hours. I drive from 6 to 1 in the afternoon. After that, I go to my store in the center of the city. Well, maybe you can take me to work from Monday to Friday. Is that okay? That's okay for me, but what about your car? Won't you drive it anymore or what? To be honest, I don't like driving my car. I get stressed and angry with the traffic. Yeah, I totally feel you. And what time do you finish work? Maybe I can pick you up too. I finish work at about 5 p.m. But before that, I need to eat something for lunch at work. If you eat late, you can have health problems. Am I right? I watched that on TV. Not always, but yeah, sometimes. In my case, I follow a special diet that allows me to do that. You are the expert, so no questions about that. I can bring you home at about 7 p.m. That's good for me. I have to arrive before my wife so we can cook dinner together. What do you usually have for dinner? Also fried eggs? I don't think so. Haha, <laughs> no, no. We sometimes cook pasta or just order a pizza. Sometimes. I always eat vegetables in the evening. I need to be healthy and I don't like fast food. Oh, that's good. Well, after we eat dinner, we often watch series on TV or a movie. I don't watch any series or movies. I don't like to watch TV. I prefer to play cards or chess. I like to play chess too. Maybe we can play together sometime. It will be funny. Yeah, that's a good idea. And what do you do on the weekends? Do you also work? No, I don't. I don't work on weekends. I just stay home and relax all day. I don't work on weekends either. Why don't we meet to play chess on Sunday? That sounds great. I'll see you on Sunday then. Now I need to go because it's late. I can take you to your work. I have my taxi cab ready at my house door. What do you say? Excellent idea. All right, let's go. Can we make it to there in 30 minutes? I don't think so. There's too much traffic now. But I'll do the possible. Thank you very much. I will get my briefcase and then we can leave. Wait a second. I hope you really liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more with this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, if you have any idea for a next video, just write it in the comments. Take care. Morning, son. I'm leaving to my work right now. I left you some money on the table. Okay, Dad. Have a good day. I'll see you later. I suppose. Wait a minute. What's going on? You look sad. What happened? I'm fine, Dad. Just go to work. Don't worry about me. Take care. I know you perfectly, and I know you're not fine. Come on, Sebastian. You can tell me.
I know I'm a little old, but I'm your dad. I will try to understand what you have to say. Yeah, but I don't think you can understand. It's about... That expression. I already know. You have a problem with a girl, right? How do you know? I didn't tell you anything about that yet. How's that possible? I'm old enough to know those kind of things. Plus, you're my son. I know you very well. Well, you're right. I didn't tell you this, but I have a girlfriend. Well, I had. But I don't want mom to know about it, please. She won't understand. Can I trust you, dad? Of course, son. Why don't we go to the balcony so we can talk better? All right. Here we can talk. Now tell me, who is this girl? Well, she's one of our neighbors. Jocelyn, I'm sure you know her. Jocelyn. Hmm. Oh, Jocelyn. Of course I know her. Yeah, well, we have been friends for more than five years and I always liked her. So I asked her to be my girlfriend last month and happily she said yes. That was amazing. Of course, she had to say yes. You are my son, and you're a good boy. Congratulations. Yes, Dad, that was great, but then something happened. I'm very sad. What happened? Don't tell me you broke up with her. Did that happen? Yeah, we broke up. We broke up yesterday, and I feel terrible now. I don't know what to do. Okay, do not panic. Just relax and tell me. How did that happen? Tell me everything. All right, I'm gonna tell you. It turns out that she's a very jealous girl. Seriously. She gets angry just because I talk to other girls in the school and in the neighborhood. And she gets angry every time I talk to Susan. Do you remember Susan, our neighbor? Yes, of course I remember Susan. You have been friends since you were a baby. Yeah, well, she's like my best friend, and we sometimes hang out together. Just like friends, do not misunderstand me. I don't like her at all, Dad. But Jocelyn says she's in love with me. She says I don't want to admit it, but... That's not true. Susan is just my friend. She doesn't like me or something like that. But my girlfriend doesn't believe me. Or she didn't believe me and broke up with me. I tried to explain her I love her and not Susan. But she doesn't want to understand. Hmm, I need to know something. How often do you go out with Susan? What? No, we don't go out. I mean, we don't go to the movies or parties. 
We always talk. We talk every day. Sometimes we go for ice cream or a burger. But that's it. We play together. You know she comes home sometimes. But she has done that since I was a child. We grew up together, Dad. You know that. She was always there for me when I needed help, and she helped me when I asked her to do it. When I had an accident, she visited me every day at the hospital. She gave me flowers and chocolates. She knows I love chocolate. She was always kind to me. When I went on vacations, we were always texting each other and talking on the phone. But it doesn't mean I love her, right? I mean, she's just my friend. That's it. Hmm, are you sure you don't love her? Are you totally sure? What? Of course. She's only my best friend. We always talk and have fun all the time. Every time I talk to her, I have fun and feel like she's my sister or something more. Every time I talk to her, I feel I can tell her all my problems and she won't judge me at all. She always makes me laugh with her jokes. She's the funniest girl, I know that. And her smile, her smile can make anyone smile just by looking at her. She's special. Oh, and also very intelligent. She got the first prize in the math contest last year. We celebrated together, we went to the movies, and I invited her a smoothie. She loves it. Oh, she also loves flowers. She loves tulips and sunflowers. They are her favorite. Sunflowers are beautiful, but not as beautiful as her. She has a beautiful smile and eyes. Have you seen her eyes? They are sky blue. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. When she goes to the school, she uses that color I gave her three years ago. I gave it to her in her birthday. She told me it was the best gift she could ever have. She's really special to me, but it doesn't mean I love her or like her. I don't, Dad. I don't love Jocelyn. I love Susan. She's the love of my life and the best girl I could meet. And one day we will get married and have children. It will be amazing. Sebastian, son, did you hear what you just said? What? I said a lot of things. What do you exactly mean, Dad? You said you loved Susan, not Jocelyn. You said Susan. I heard it. What are you talking about? I said I love Susan, the most beautiful girl. Uh-oh. Yes, that's right. You love Susan, not Jocelyn. And that's why she's jealous. Girls know when we don't love them and we feel something for any other girl. They always know.
you love Susan and you have to tell her what you feel. That's what you have to do. I haven't thought about it, but I think you're right. Susan was always special to me and... I would talk to her right now. Thank you so much for your help, Dad. I love you so much. Yeah, that's okay. My son is growing fast. I'm really happy to be here for him. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. Hey Ben, Allison just called me. Really? What did she tell you? She was asking for you. Oh, I haven't seen her lately. I didn't know that. Can you tell her something? Sure. What is that? No, better. Can you give me her number? Sure, I can. Here it is. Thank you. Can you help me with something? Of course. Tell me. I need to ask you some questions. What is it for? It's just a survey from my college. All right, let's do it. Great. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook very well. Can you cook many dishes? No, I can't. What dishes can you cook? I can cook rice with chicken. That's delicious. I like it fried. I can make it fried or baked. Can you speak more than one language? Yeah, I can speak French and English. How well can you speak them? I can speak them very well. Great! Can you show me please? <laughs> People always ask me that. Yeah, I get it. Don't worry. Can you go to the next question? Sure. Can you jump? Sure, I can jump. All right, and how high can you jump? I can't jump very high. It's difficult. Okay, can you sing? I can sing, but not very well. So, can't you sing? All right then, I can't sing. Okay, tell me, can you dance? Mm, I'm not sure about that. What do you mean you're not sure? 
I don't know. <laughs> Can or can't you dance? I can dance, but just rock music. Can you dance salsa or any other music? No, I can't dance Latin music. Can you repeat that, please? No, I can't dance Latin music. All right, thank you. But I can dance rock and pop. That's not exactly dancing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right, then. Another one. Can you draw? No, I can't. I can paint. Where do you paint? I usually paint at home. How well can you paint? Very well. Excellent. I can't paint anything. I can teach you if you want. Really? Can you do that? Of course I can. You are my friend. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Next question. Can you read fast? Sure I can do it. How fast can you read? I can read a book in a week. I can read two books in a week. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't do that. But a book a week is good too. I can try to do that. Sure, try it. It is funny. I'll do it. Thanks. Can you write very well? No, I can't. Why can't you do that? I don't usually write anything. But you can write, can't you? Of course, but not very well. Oh, I get it. I could write in the school. I remember that you were good at writing. I was, but not anymore. All right, can you drive a car? I can drive my car. I didn't know you had a car. Well, it's my father's car. I see, but you can drive it. Absolutely, I can drive it very well. I can't drive a car, you know? Don't you have a car? 
No, I don't, but my mother has one. Could you like to learn? Of course, I'd love it. I can teach you if you want. Really? When can you teach me? I am not sure. Can you make it this weekend? I don't think so. Can you make it the next weekend? I can't make it, sorry. When can you teach me then? The next month I have some time. Can you make it the last Sunday? Sure, that's good for me. Great, I really appreciate it. Don't worry about that, my friend. Thanks. Can you drink alcohol? No, I can't. You know that. Sorry, I had to ask. Don't worry, but I can't. All right, last question and we finish. Okay, because I have to go now. Can you play video games? I can, of course. I always play video games. How many hours can you be playing? Mm, I don't know. Can't you remember? No, but I think I can play for many hours. I see. Is that all then? Yep. Yeah. Can you sign here, please? Sure, I can do it. Give me your pen. Here you are. Okay, it's done. It was interesting. Thank you. Can you please write your name? Oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't see it. That's okay. Just write it here. Great. Now it's done. All right. I really thank you for your time. My pleasure. See you. See you. Take care. I hope you really liked this conversation. If you could improve your English and practice a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next video. Good afternoon. I have been waiting for 10 minutes. I am really hungry. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Good afternoon, and welcome to Good Food Restaurant. Yeah, a friend recommended to come here. He said you serve excellent dishes. And he's right, sir. Although this is a new restaurant, we are always recommended. Yeah, okay. Can I see a menu, please? I don't know what to order. 
Sure. Here you are, sir. Can I recommend you today's special? It is delicious. Mmm. Okay. What is today's special? It's my first time here. Today's special is grilled tuna with onions and baked potatoes, all served with pepper. Onions? Pepper? No, I think I'll pass. I'd like to have the menu, please. Okay, sir. Here you are. I'll give you some minutes, so you can check it. Alright. Thank you. Hmm, let's see. Mm. Waiter? Waiter? I'm ready to order, please. Waiter? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I was serving other tables. Are you ready to order? Don't worry. And yes, I want a salad to start, please. And also a glass of water. Oh, okay. That's a healthy option. We have Caesar salad and chicken salad. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'll have the chicken salad. I like chicken. Alright, sir. And about the water, could you like it with ice or something? No, no, just water. I will start with that and then I'll ask you for more things, please. Okay, sir. Give me just a couple of minutes and I'll be here with your order. Alright, thank you. And hurry up, please, because I'm too hungry. Here's your water and also your salad, sir. I hope I didn't take so long for this. Wow, no, that's perfect. You are really fast. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can get you, sir? We have excellent main dishes and desserts. No, that's okay for the moment. This water is delicious. I was really thirsty. I think I will try the salad now. I just hope it is delicious. I'm trying to eat healthy these days. Hmm, I have never tried such delicious carrots. They are really good. They are so good that I can eat them with my hands so I can enjoy them better that way. Tomatoes are also good, and the cucumber is delicious. Lettuce is also so fresh, I like it. But I don't think this may be enough for me. I think I'll ask for a main dish. But I'm on a diet, so I don't know what to ask for. I will ask the waiter about the menu again. Waiter? Waiter? Over here, please. I'd like to order. Yes, sir. Is everything okay? Would you like to order anything else? Yes, please. I'd like to order a hamburger and also a soda. Sure. We have the double cheese hamburger and the bag hamburger. About the bag hamburger, what does it have in it? I'd like to know. Of course, the big one has tomatoes, tofu, onions, and a little of cheese. Mmm, I have already eaten a lot of vegetables. And what about the double cheese? 
Well, the double cheese has extra cheese, meat, bacon, fried eggs, onions, and tomatoes. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fat in just one hamburger. Mmm. If you want, I can offer you a simple hamburger with only fried eggs, meat, and tomatoes. Oh, that sounds much better. All right, I want the simple hamburger with a little mayonnaise. Excellent. Can I recommend you our special drink instead of the soda you ordered? And what does this special drink have? Because I've already drunk some water. Well, it has pineapple juice, syrup, some sugar, and delicious Peruvian pisco, sir. Oh, I like pisco, but I can't drink alcohol for the moment. I'm trying to follow a diet, you know? Oh, then I can change the pisco for some soda. The flavor changes a little, but it is delicious anyway. All right, that sounds good. I think that's great. Thank you very much. Can I take the menu and the water? Or perhaps you will still use it? No, that's okay. Take it with you, please. And don't take so long, because I'm still hungry. Here you are, sir. Your cocktail and also your simple hamburger. Is everything okay? Everything is perfect. I have already finished the burger and it was so delicious. I've never eaten something like that in my life. That's why people recommend this place. And also, did it have anything special? I felt something different from other burgers. Oh, that must be our secret recipe. We are not allowed to say what it is. Sorry, sir. I see. Well, no problem. This drink is also amazing. Very sweet. It is also a special recipe we have in our bar. We try to give the best to our customers. Well, it is delicious. Can I have the check, please? I have already finished. Sure, I have your check here. It will be $107. Oh, okay. I will pay with my credit card, please. And add a nice tip for you. Thank you very much, sir. I hope you have a great day and come back very soon. Oh, of course. I will be here every weekend. This is the best restaurant in the city. I hope you really liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more with this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, if you have any idea for a next video, just write it in the comments. Take care. Good morning, lady. I'm new here in this neighborhood. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. My name is Anna. I want to welcome you.